If you want to learn English, I think you came to the right video because today you are going to learn with me some uh, very new vocabulary with a story. I'm going to tell you the sad story of the Lady Diana or the Princess Diana. Hi, welcome to another new video. I hope that you are doing good and well. If you are new to this channel or this is the first time for you watching this video, I want to say welcome. My name is Ines and what I do in my channel is that I help you to learn English effectively with simple ways and methods. And uh, I had the idea, actually, if you remember the last time I told you to make comments to see what do you want to actually see on my channel and so I analyzed all of your comments and I came to the conclusion to make a new season about um, stories. So actually stories is a really great way to listen to English and it is a really funny way to learn English actually. So um, I decided to start by the story of Lady or the Princess Diana. Also, if you don't know, I have a school online which is called Languages for a Better Life um, and actually I give courses in English online. If you are interested, you, you want to check my website because I have great, great promotions for you guys, you can click on the link under this video and also a lot of you asked me about the mic that I'm using on all of my videos and I'm also going to let you the link on the description and let's start. So the Lady Diana Spencer or the Lady D, so it, she is really well known as the Lady D, uh, was born in the 1st July on 1961 from a mother and a father so her mother is named Frances Burke Rush and her father is Edward Spencer so she is the third of her family and when she was just seven years old her parents get divorced actually she really struggled in her childhood because Imagine that in her seven years old, she was telling herself that she is supposed to be a boy and not a girl. Why? Because in the UK, in the United Kingdom, uh, at that time, you know, um, all of the wealthiest families have this uh, dream of having a boy in their family to have a boy. Uh, delegating his father and getting his wealth and also his heritage. So the parents of Diana wanted to have a boy at that time, but they didn't. Actually, they had a boy uh, before Diana, but he was died. But uh, she had another brother after her, so that brother uh, was the one who is going to ensure the heritage of them. After that, uh, Diana was a very passionate girl. Uh, she was passionate by sport. She was also really passionate by ballet and by the dance and everything. You know, she is a really dreamy girl. Very shy then girl. the also. years passed and uh, Diana decided to be dependent from her parents because she felt like she never fits in that wealthy and rich family and so for this reason she started to work as a nanny because she struggled in her um, in her childhood she felt that she had this amazing connection with children and this is why she decided to work as a nanny so i'm not sure what age she had when she saw the prince charles but i think she had around 15 or uh, 14 16 years old around those ages so uh, one day she was uh, with her sister and so the prince charles come to visit her to visit her sister so i forget to tell you something is that because the family of diana is very wealthy and rich 
So her family is really close with the royal family and very close with the um, Queen Elizabeth. So this is why the Prince Charles came to visit her sister and he saw there. He saw her there and she saw him there. And when she saw him, she was like, okay, this is the love of my life. <laughs> okay, I'm in love. <laughs> and she was like, oh, and even she had, you know, his pictures in her bedroom, like she was obsessed with him. All right. And because also she, they were, they were very close to the royal family. The Queen Elizabeth decided that Diana was the perfect girl for her son. And she said like, this girl is going to marry my son right and so they started to go out together to the dinner to the opera and actually um after 10 appointments i think they decided to get engaged and so they was fiancé <laughs> for her it was a dream becoming true she was like oh my gosh i'm getting engaged with the man of my life it's not any man it's the prince charles who is going to become the king of england oh my god i'm so in love with him <laughs> but actually after one uh interview a journalist asked them this question are you in love are you in love like you two are you in love and so the answer of the Lady Diana was, yes, of course. Like, what is this question? And the answer of Prince Charles was like, mm, mm, I don't really know. What? Like, what? No, I'm so sorry to say this, but Lady Diana is like, um, is like 100% more beautiful than the prince. So what you have the most beautiful person just beside you and you're not sure that i also forget to mention is that when they get engaged lady diana had 19 around 19 or 18 years old and the prince charles had 32 years old like Oh. after that interview she was very very upset uh because she was like uh okay he didn't say that he loves me so what is this but even though she didn't care she said i have a marriage to continue i have a lot of preparations to do so let's do it and just some days um you know just a few days before her marriage she found a letter she found a letter with a present with a gift this letter was sent to camilla parker and so the prince charles was like yes you know i'm sending you this message uh because this is my last letter maybe you are the true love of my life and i'm sending you my love and i'm sending you this necklace for forgiving me right here at this moment and at this point particularly diana was like okay what should i do should i marry this man who don't love me or should i continue but even of that she continued her preparations until the wedding day so for many many people the wedding day was very like it was a fairy tale like it was the, the most expensive wedding in the world i'm going to tell you it costs 84 million dollars at that time and in those time it would cost around 70 million dollars to 110 million dollars the most expensive wedding like i think um they they were 35 million people watching her wedding around the world do you imagine that and all of that 
she was upset like all of that oh she's the princess and all of that but in her heart and her mind she wasn't okay she was like so upset and we have this video when she entered the church she was like okay so if he invites her love her true love camilla parker and if i found her right here in the church in my wedding this would be catastrophic so you see her on the video like she's walking and searching around her maybe she's here and yes she was here camilla parker ah uh. <laughs> The, uh, the like the, the beginning of their wedding is just no 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 it's so catastrophic she gets pregnant with her first son uh william and during her first pregnancy she was very very upset uh very sick also like emotionally she wasn't great she even tried to suicide she falls down into the stairs when she was pregnant and also she had a disease i don't really know how do we call this disease but she tried you know she eats a lot she eats a lot and then she throws everything away um yeah because she was very like in depression in deep depression and her husband like wasn't very here all the time on the phone with her with his camilla parker so i want to mention something very important is that the prince charles was very jealous uh from diana so he was like um yeah he was very jealous because she's so beautiful i want to tell i want to say mashallah <laughs> she was so beautiful that when she come you know publicly like everyone around her scream diana diana like she gets all of the intention of the entire world you know she was the queen's people heart she was the real fairy tale princess for people you know and so the prince was very jealous like she is getting all of the attention but I am the prince. I am the future king. Like, look at me right here. After that, after some years, she gets pregnant with her second son, Henry. Uh, <clears throat> and actually, I told you before that she had this connection with children. So her children, her boys was, was really everything for her. They were like her... her main thing in life she was living for them literally um and because she was very upset and emotionally broke she got so many other relationships uh she gets a relationship with a pakistani doctor for two years um and then others and also because a lot of time like she was very upset she decided to talk to the queen herself you know the queen herself she went right there she told her like your son your son <laughs> you better get me <laughs> like your son doesn't care about me what should i do like please talk with him do something she was talking with the royal family or her family nobody cares nobody cares about her all what cares is the public you know the public uh, feature like it's not normal to get divorced on the on the royal family so please keep going keep like doing the actor and it was so tough on her so hard on her um and so for this reason after some years they get divorced because it wasn't it was enough it was enough for her so then she gets a mysterious relationship with dudi al-fayed so the family al-fayed is a very rich family uh, so the father of dudi is muhammad al-fayed and they are egyptian an egyptian family uh, they were very very extremely rich 
and Muhammad al Fayyad have this idea to get a plan to marry his son with Lady Diana so that he can get the um, the uh, English uh, entity so he was like okay and he succeeded he succeeded because in the night of uh, 31 Oot 1997 in Paris Dudi Al Fayed wanted to demand or ask her for ask Lady Diana for the marriage at that night in 1997 they had a car accident actually in Paris they unfortunately died so you have Lady Diana. So Dudi Al Fayed died right away. Lady Diana was taken to the hospital, but she died few hours after the accident. And like when she died, like everyone in this in the world was shocked. Everyone was crying, screaming her name. Like she was something, she was really someone in their heart, you know. They even uh, put like over one million flower beside her palace when she were when she was where she was living in the UK. It's still her story is still being sad. It's so sad for me because like from her childhood to when she has died. She really struggled a lot emotionally. Um, so yeah, you know, even if people thought that she was living a fairy tale, she's a princess, she's supposed to be very happy. This is what I want to tell you guys from this story is that Al-Madahir Khadda'a. Al-Madahir Khadda'a. Like you can see something, but you don't really see the depth on it. This was our little story. I hope that you like it. I hope that you liked learning English by this story. Um, so tell me in comments where, what are the other personalities, um, you know, or maybe famous persons that you want me to talk about. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe into the channel so that you become a member of our family, of course. And uh, I'm going to tell you, see you soon. Bye.